Welcome back artistic family to part two to the deluxe series. I used three rounds on um, MDF wood that I got from Michaels and they dried beautifully. The third one guys, I don't have. When it dried, I just wasn't really happy with it and it just really didn't work well with the other two. But what I wanted to do is take my Craft Smart Matte Black. I'm going to do this one in kind of speed mode, guys, and then just move on to the varnishing because once you've seen one, you've seen them all, and just to speed up the process. So I have my foam brush, which I keep in a Ziploc bag. It keeps it very fresh, it's very moist, and uh, it's just easier that way. And of course, it's practical and a great way to save money. So I did mention that I was doing something different with the backs, okay? And I wanted this crisp, be, even though um, I am actually taking this round and gluing it to the back. And as you can see, what I mentioned in part one, making the backing black instead of white makes this pop, as you can see, okay? And then in the frame, you can just imagine, right, how gorgeous that is going to end up looking. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and set these aside and then I'm going to show you how to save your varnish and recycle it. Okay, so what I have here, guys, is Liquitex high gloss varnish. Okay, it's like resin like extremely glossy. Before you apply it, the important thing to remember if you haven't varnished any pores as of yet is to make sure that your painting or your round whatever it is is clean mine's completely clean um so you have no dust no particles no anything on top before you varnish and then make sure that they're dry so not dry to the touch but cured so a few days up to anywhere to a few weeks before you varnish the application that i used to use before uh was a brush and that that was early on in my um, beginning journey and then i ended up moving on to a foam brush which i found worked 10 times better but this application pouring it on your surface on your artwork I find works the best now you're probably thinking well that's gonna waste a lot pouring it off all I basically do is take my surface pour an amount on the center and then once you're done pouring on your first application tilt it pour it back in or keep it in the pan and then just re use what's left in the pan on your surface again or on another pour so that way you have no waste and you have a fantastic finish so let me show you how it's done okay the other thing to keep in mind as well guys is if you have a couple pieces even if they're small like this i would do one piece first I wouldn't pour a puddle on each one, tilt it off, and then go. You don't want it to set up on you. So it's always best just to do one, give that some love, pay attention to your edges, the same way you would a pour. looks pretty good I don't see any air bubbles I don't see anything in it hopefully I'm gonna let these dry do one more layer of each I'm only doing two layers on each because they're going behind the shadow box glass which gives it that extra gloss and uh, I think two is gonna be plenty so I'll see you for the uh, Framing and finished product. Okay, artistic family, here is the finished results. Okay, you can see 
Let it shimmer. It's all vibrant now. She's all varnished. Okay, looks great. And this one as well. You can see all that nice gold and how vibrant it is again now after being varnished. Okay, so here's the situation with these. As you guys remember from the Deluxe Series Part 1, I will link that for you to take a look at, which was the creation of these. And I went over quickly and told you guys what I was going to do with them. And so, as you guys saw earlier, I painted the backing, okay? And my goal was to take the E6000, just a few drops, because you don't need much. Look at that gold. Oh, look how it is shimmering now with the gloss on it. Um, and put this on the back, okay? And so all I was going to do was glue that to the back of these and then frame them. Here's the situation. I had a client, thank you, Laura, who reached out to me last week and said, Shannon, I want them, I love them, and I don't want you to frame them because she was just gifted two frames that will fit this, that are gold, and she wants to put them in. And so I am perfectly okay with that. The client requests them not to go in a frame because they want to use their own, but they still want to purchase them. I'm fine. So obviously I can't glue them. But what I am going to do, because I show, wanted to show you guys how elegant and upscale and how great these would look in the frames, I am going to frame them for you. Okay, fam. I've just got them propped up here. I've got a piece of foam board to... Cover the back just so you guys can see, but from the side profile, you can see how it's pushed back as your shadow boxes. You can see how glossy it is now. And they look absolutely fabulous in there. Absolutely fabulous. I love them. Of course, the oak sides are dirty. I've been just playing with it, putting it in. Um, but like I said, it's temporary. They're coming out and uh, being shipped. So thank you so much, Laura. I appreciate you. I hope you guys enjoyed. The deluxe series will be more to follow, as mentioned in part one. This here is my favorite. Let me know if you got which one was your guys' favorite, one or two. I'm just curious. But uh, they'll be going in Laura's home. So thank you again, Laura. Thank you guys so much. And uh, see you guys all in the next pour.